Hi, I'm Alec with Flashcut CNC. In this video, we'll be discussing the control pendant. This 38 function pendant allows you to control your machine from wherever you need to be. It is specially programmed to take advantage of commonly used functions in Flashcut, such as jogging, point moves, setting zero, controlling your program, homing, and turning on and off your spindle. It can also be easily programmed from the Flashcut software interface for any special function that you need for your application. It connects to your PC using a 10-foot USB cable. It includes a clear, flexible cover to keep away the chips from the keys without losing any functionality. In this video, we'll be using the 2000 Sherline mill. However, the pendant can also be used on a variety of other machines, such as the bridge port or the plasma table. When you first receive it, however, it will come in this box. You'll find the USB extension cable, and inside the bubble wrap, the pendant, stickers, and the protective layering. The protective layering does not come attached. You have these stickers that you can peel off to put it in place permanently. So we'll set that aside for now. You can see the stickers are already arranged in the default flash cut settings, but you can arrange these however you want in the software. Simply take off the plastic covering on each of these keys, place the sticker down, and then you can put the plastic covering back on. Once all that is complete, you can peel off these stickers on the side of the protective coating, uh, but it doesn't keep you from you know, pushing all the buttons or causing any sort of issues like that. So it's useful if you're keeping this near the machine. So now that we've applied all the stickers and the protective layering, we're going to go ahead and plug this in the computer and give it a run. Next, we're going to go to our program here. We're going to go to Configuration, Preferences, Pendant. First, we're going to click Use Flex Pendant. Then we're going to go down and click Use Standard Layout. This will match up all of the buttons with the default stickers that Flashcut has in place. However, it's important to note that you can change these uh, and arrange them however you wish. If you click the arrow next to the function, you'll see a variety of options. You can jog the axes, start and stop the G-code, load the G-code, turn on and off devices, launch macros, Zent Zero, Set Zero, and a lot more if you continue to scroll down here. You can also see the layer and the button. You'll see in a minute that the, there's a green and a red layer. This is the equivalent of holding the shift key on a keyboard. It allows you to use multiple functions with the same button. So now that we have all this set up, we'll click OK. As you can see, we are on the green layer right now. So that is a lot of the jogging activities. For example, we can sit here and jog X positive or X negative. If you click the layer button in the bottom corner, this will switch off between green and red. We're going to start by uh, beginning the G code, which we have set up. You can see we have the flash bulb on the computer. Now it says that the program coordinates are not zeroed. Uh, in order to click OK, so you don't have to walk all the way to your computer, you stay on the red, the red layer, and here you'll see Enter. That's the equivalent of clicking OK on the, on the computer. So we'll go ahead and do that and you can see the G-code starts. In the bottom right corner, you have the hold key. This will feed hold the program. This concludes our video on the control pendant. We hope you find it as useful as we do from operating your machine away from a computer. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email us at the number or email address below. From all of us here at Flashcode CNC, thank you for watching.